Hello and welcome to my channel when the stars align. My name is Kelly Rowland for those of you who are new and I want to film a video today that has been inspired through my own life and it's for all of human design generators and in particular you know there can be so many concepts and so many intellectual understandings of these systems. Astrology, mind astrology, the dream spell, human design, the I Ching. It can be so mental but to actually take these concepts and bring them into embodiment, I'm sure if you've been on this path, it's a whole different story. And being a generator, we know that our strategy in life is to respond and to follow our satisfaction, to follow what expands us. Yet, I want to know who is actually properly living this generator strategy. We can look to um, the media because celebrities are often living a larger than life life and it's on a platform and a stage. Of course, we don't know what's happening behind the scenes, but we see what's being expressed and expanded upon. Like J-Lo, an iconic generator, or, you know, you, there's so many. But there's this light that we have within us as generators. There's this innate, unique, divine power that we have within us, yet it's actually terrifying to step into. I think this is something that can be very easily bypassed. Yes, expand in your light, expand in your light, do what you love, only do what you love. However, what about all of that conditioning that we've had to go, go through as a collective and generators have carried that weight? No, you can't be satisfied. No, you have to be useful. You have to be practical. You have to fit in. You have to suit A, B, C's needs before you even think about yours. And to just make this lofty jump, to owning your strategy and ex being in your expansiveness is actually freaking hard. <laughs> and I find that it can actually create, in my experience, it can potentially, and it has created more self-resentment rather than self-empowerment. And I've had to grow through that and I'm continuing to grow through that. But by seeing all the ways in which I wish to expand and I feel that spark within me, however, the inevitable shadow that is there as well and the constriction that is there as well and understanding that in myself yes i can have these deep beautiful passions and this desire to express myself and i can also process shadows and that doesn't mean that i'm in the wrong it doesn't mean i'm not doing what i'm supposed to do so i wanted to make this video in particular for generators who can relate to this you feel that expansiveness within you you know it's there and you are quite inspired by people you see doing it, but there feels like a block. And know that it's not your fault and you are doing exactly what you need to be doing. And don't be hard on yourself. These are baby steps that are needed. And if we just try to bite off that whole firework and say, I'm gonna be that, <laughs> while we're still processing, it just sets us up for failure externally and internally. So why not setting, why not set up yourself with small goals. So to activate this juicy generator energy, here are a few things that I do for myself. I notice what kind of people in the world do I have the strongest um, response to? Um, what kind of people either make me really tap into my desire? You'd look at your motivation. What is your um, motivation in your human design chart? This is something that's revealed in your more advanced chart and this is what I cover in my personal readings. It goes into the PHS, all sorts of different aspects of your chart that you can't find for free online um, and your motivation is one of those it's this innate drive you have within you for example mine is desire so i notice what people what kind of activities and things ignite my desire or ignite my jealousy <laughs> my lack of desire or my longing for desire and often these tend to be artists creative dancers um, very expressive human beings is who I feel myself activated by and most responsive to. So that's the first step. Ask yourself what people tend to give you the biggest response. What celebrities or what friends or peers or role models do you really feel yourself drawn to? Maybe it's a chef or maybe it's a businessman or maybe it's a multi-billionaire or maybe it's an inventor or a scientist or a cook or a mother. Where do you feel that as a generator? Where do you feel your sacral responding? Even if it doesn't feel good, even if you're jealous as hell, where do you feel that? That's the first step. And the second step is ask yourself, okay, what's, what's that person doing in their life? What's one thing I could do that would mimic that? What's just one thing I could do every day? Okay, I can put on a song and dance every day. 
and really tap into my dancer. Or I can cook one meal every day, or I can make a recipe, or I can read something, or I can, you know, read one chapter of that entrepreneurial book. What's one thing you can do that's something that that person does? Modeling them a little bit. Not trying to be them, because you've got to honor your own spark, but taking a bit of insight. Ah, okay, I see that they're doing that. It's not that unattainable. Let me try doing that. And the third thing, and the most important thing, is understand that this person you're admiring probably put decades of their life and energy into perfecting this craft. It's not something that happens overnight. And this is something that can be very, there can be a lot of blindsiding with this because in the age of social media and instant sharing and communication, it can just seem like someone was just born like this. Oh, that person was born like that, or they're just that beautiful or that talented or that successful. Are you kidding me? No way. It's not like that at all. Blood, sweat, tears, years of life go into perfecting and building yourself. So as a generator, there can be this, especially if you're a manifesting generator, there can be this desire to just, I just want to expand. Like, why can't I just be in my satisfaction? But understanding that when you name, okay, what are the kind of fields that I'm drawn to? B, what's one thing I could do to get me in that direction? And C, allowing it to perfect over time, allowing it to ripen. You know, you could run a sprint in this lifetime. You could have a sprint of a life, 50 meters and you're done, go out like a spark. Or you could build yourself up for a marathon of brilliance and radiance and greatness. So which do you choose? Neither is right or wrong, but one sure does put a heck of a lot more stress on the being and the body and the mind and the soul. And this is a big lesson that's been coming through for me and it's really coming into fruition now is to honor and trust my timing and to also use my generator energy for things that I've got desire for, to things that motivate me, to things that really touch me deeply within and locate where are all the other places I'm putting my energy? What are the distractions where I'm just playing innocent? You would look at your transferred motivation, which again is something that I cover in my personal readings. Where am I playing innocent and where am I giving up my energy and not actually claiming it? And this is the key to accessing your power as a generator. You've got the say, it's not just gonna fall upon you. You were built and born with all of this energy for a reason because you're made to use it. But it takes that awareness and it takes that deconditioning to realize, wow, this is where I'm putting all my energy. No wonder why I'm not getting where I wanna go. And I can just look and see and admire and be jealous or be desiring of, but that's not gonna get me where I wanna go. I've got this sacral energy, let me use it. Let me use it for my advantage. And then therefore, I can be that person who's touching others, who's inspiring others with my light. But it's a journey. So it's about finding something that's worth journeying for. It's not about something just being fun all of the time. It's about the essence of something just touches you so deeply that you are willing to put your energy towards it. It's not about always having fun as a generator. It's dedicating yourself to that which sparks you like nothing else so that over time you grow into this flame and you are more resilient and more resilient and more resilient. So these are some downloads coming through. I'm currently in Mexico. Hello, Birdie. In Teotihuacan, visiting the pyramids for a Mayan astrology conference. And um, yeah, there's a lot of downloads coming through. So I wanted to make this video for you generators. And let me know. Let me know if you know what your motivation is. And if you're curious to have a reading, the details are below. Yeah, there's so much about the expansion of generators, but not so much about the conditioning that most of us are carrying as well. And it can feel really um, disappointing. You know, I can relate to a lot of disappointment in my life, thinking I should be something, I'm, I, should be, I should be somewhere where I'm not currently. But the more you can trust where you are at and set your sights and take little steps and respond moment to moment, then you do grow. And when I stand where I am now and I look back at where I was a year ago and two years ago, I am damn proud of myself because there has been commitment I've been putting towards things and it hasn't always been easy. But in that commitment and the growing of those flames, I can now stand in a place in a few areas of my life where I'm like, wow, that feels really good. And I'm more resilient. And I know that with time, this will continue to grow. So where are you wanting to grow in your life? What kind of people, activities really get you going, light you up? Are you doing something daily that aligns with that? Where are you leaking energy? 
these are important questions for us generators to contemplate and to respond to. So, so much love from my generator heart to yours, beautiful human design, people. That is all for now, and I will see you on the next video.